right, so here's the former UFC interim heavyweight champion, Cyril Ghosn, fighting out of Paris, France. Many would argue he is the most layered, sophisticated, potent striker in this UFC's heavyweight division at present. Of course, with respect to the champion, John Jones. But he has had a kryptonite at times in terms of the wrestling. That being said, he told us in the fighter meeting Thursday he has shored this up. You saw that on full display against Sergei Spivak. And he believes now if any heavyweight in the world is going to try to take him down, that is going to be a whole lot easier said than done. We all know of Cyril Gant's gifts on the feet. Another big opportunity for him to shine here tonight. UFC goal. some of the training footage. Got a pretty good sprawl. Perhaps that's going to be useful here tonight. A lot of these heavyweights are going to try to take Tyson down. Let's see how it goes for Iron Mike tonight. Iron Mike Tyson steps inside the octagon and is ready to fight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> For this Ready. one. All right, so it's power versus finesse in the heavyweight division tonight as Mike Tyson arrives in the octagon to face Francis Cyril. And that this is a challenge that Tyson has not seen before or experienced. He's never seen a guy this big who moves that well. But if you know Mike Tyson, he will be in there on that head movement on the center line in Cyril Gunn's face, trying to get big punches off of him. But if he lands, don't be surprised if you see Cyril Gunn set his feet and just try to get it right back. Oh, he blasted the kick to the midsection right there. Got it right below that elbow guard. And on the other side, if you're the boxer, maybe need to lower that guard a little bit more. Well, you're at kicking range and not boxing range. As he's landing damage, the boxer can't reach him with the punches. It's beautiful. And it shows how hard they worked in building this game plan and this approach that has allowed for him to jump out in front. Ooh, found a home for that knee. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Well, maybe he'll look to set up that hook again. That one 
snuck in. Nice strike. Big body kick. Oh, and there it is. Another hook connects flush. Work, work, come on. Punch got blocked there. Ninety seconds to go. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there. The more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. And right now, it's starting to show. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great shot using his leg. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to provide the power of the kill. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Big right hand there. Second round, straight ahead. Well, how's that for a five-minute performance? The round is over mercifully for his opponent. You just got to make sure you stay the course, though, at this point, I would think, right? Because you nearly got the finish, but you didn't, and the opponent figures to make some adjustments. Absolutely, and he's from a great team, John. You know that the opponent's from a great team, so they're going to tell him all the right things in between rounds. So he's got to stay the course, as you said. Be calm, be patient. Do exactly what you did prior, that puts you in such a phenomenal situation going into the next round. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be Ready. happy. Everything's working. Ready. But the other side Ready. has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Good defense blocking that punch. Just out of range with that punch attempt. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage. Could be the beginning of the end here. This is a great fight. Now switching his stance. Here we go. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Quick transition. Inside the closed guard. Gon's going for a choke. That guillotine is tight. He's gonna choke him. There it is. Oh, hang on a second. He escapes. What a tremendous job. You saw his hands immediately go to the inside. Attack the lock. Create some space. Go to your back. Give up the mount. But live to fight another day. Gons right back to the full mount here. 
All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Oh. Ten minutes oh. in the books. All right, heading back stop, to the stop, corner, stop. and Gon's bleeding from the forehead there a little bit. It doesn't appear to be too bad. The right. focus for the cut man, though, to make sure that he can Listen, stop the bleeding can and not allow the blood to get into the eyes. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot, and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. That shot blocked by Tyson. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both. He's in a lot of trouble now. Oh, my goodness. Lands a nice one, too. Liver kick, if you take those... DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at one minute, 35 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Surreal Bongamaga. Well, DC, you know how much I love crowning new champions, yes. and when we get to see these men and women realize these dreams, but to do it at heavyweight, man, just incredible.